to my youtube channel modi mechanical engineering tutorials in this video i would like to explaining about different types of welding joints so let's start with the different types of welding joints so basically it will be having a butt joint so just you can look the figure if you want to joining of the two faces of the plates so that will be the requirements of the butt joint or you can say there will be known as a butt joint second one and that will be the corner joint so as per the requirement of the joining of the two plates at their one of the corner so that will be the another type of joint or you can say it will be a corner joint then after just you can see the figure if one plate is resting onto the another one and there will be the joining as per my requirements so that will be such kind of joint it will be known as a lap joint in some applications one plate it will be resting onto the ground and another plate as shown into the figure it will be placed over that particularly plates so it will be making a t kind of cross sectional area so such kind of joint you can performing for the welding so it will be known as a t joint and finally if you want to joining two edges of the plate as per the given figure so that will be known as a edge joint so that will be the basic types of joints it will be used into the welding process then i will explaining about groove welds so just you can see the figure number a so that will be indication as a square groove weld it will be from the one side so only the one side it will be used for making a joint or you can say permanent joints and there will be the no kind of any edge preparations onto the base metal or parent metal and weld joint is being performing so that will be known as a square groove weld joint it will be having a one side second one single bevel groove weld so in that case one of the base plate that will be having a bevel kind of groove it will be performing onto the one of the face of the plates then you can carry the welding process so just you can see into the figure it will be indications as a single bevel groove weld then into the figure number c if you work with the both the base metal and making a v kind of shape or you can say v kind of groove onto the top face of the base metal so that will be known as a single v groove weld process similarly if you want to make a joint and uh, surface preparations onto the both the metals of the base metal so that will be making a u shape so that will be known as a single u groove weld then if you make a surface preparations onto the any single plates and it will be look like a j shapes so just you can see into the figure number e so it will be making a single j groove weld after that into the figure f there will be known as a 2v or you can see both the ends top side as well as the bottom side so it will be making a double v groove weld for the thicker sections so basically that is uh, depends upon the thickness of the work piece so this dotted lines that will be shows the original part for the welding process so basically two types of the joints groove welds now we will discussing with the fillet welds so into industry there will be the wide applications of the fillet welds so basically into the figure a that will be indication as a inside single fillet corner joint so if you want to make a corner joints for the two plates so it will be the plate number 1 and plate number 2 positionings and single fillet it will be carried out with the help of welding process so that will be also depends upon the strength is being required for your given applications into the second figure outside single fillet corner joint so once again that will be the category of the corner joints and if you performing the single welding joints so that will be known as a outside single fillet corner joint then after into the next figure and that will be the c double fillet lap joint so now your two plates of the base metals which will be into the lapping conditions 
and if you performing the fillet joint from the both the ends so that will be known as a double fillet because from both the side the welding process it will be carried out and it will be the one kind of fillet joints and both the plates it will be into the lapping conditions that's why it will be known as a double fillet lap joint then after double fillet t joint say as we already discussing into the t joints but into the fillet wheel if we are using the two side of the fillet wheel so that will be known as a double fillet t joint if you only performing the single side so that will be known as a single fillet t joint but most of the engineering applications it will be followed by the double fillet t joint because for the double side it will be increasing the strength of the joints then most important part into the welding process and that will be the welding positions so basically it will be having a four positions so let's see first one and that will be the flat positions so into the flat positions the bottom of the material is on to the ground and groove is on to the upper side so just you can see the figure that will be also known as a 1g positions as per the aws or you can say american welding society designations so which kind of axis directions so basically weld axis is parallel to the ground so if you find that the weld axis which is parallel to the ground and your welding is being carried out as per your figure so that will be known as a flat welding positions after the flat welding positions second one that will be known as a horizontal welding positions so just you can see the figure into the so into the 2g positions you can say or you can say horizontal positions so in which one of the longer edges of any one is on to the ground so as for the figure or you can say geometry of the components so one of the longer edges so that will be on to the ground so according to the axis directions the axis is parallel to the ground so just you can see the figure or technically or you can say aws designations that will be known as a 2g positions of the welding then after vertical positions so as from the figure just you can see one of the shorter edges of the both the pieces it will be on to the ground and work piece is kept vertically or technically or you can say from aws designations that will be known as a 3g positions so in which 3g positions the weld axis is perpendicular to the ground so as shown into the figure that will be indication as a 3g positions of the welding and last one and it will be the difficult positions of the welding so that will be known as a overhead positions so just you can see the figure as per the technical language it will be known as a 4g positions so in which the weld piece is above the head in which the groove side is on to the bottom so as per the axis directions the weld axis is parallel to the ground so that will be known as a 4g positions so as per the difficulties level the overhead positions or you can say 4g positions of the welding that will be having a highest difficulty levels and into the 1g and 2g that will be the normal level so you can easily performing the welding with the help of flat positions as well as with the help of horizontal positions but in case of the overhead or 4g positions that will be having a highest difficult level so now we will discussing with the some more important parts of the welding process and that will be the methods of welding so basically it will be the two kind of methods leftward techniques of the welding and rightward techniques of the welding so let's see with the leftward welding or you can say forward welding and one more name is forehand welding techniques so just you can see the figure for the leftward weldings so basically the welding it will be the blow pipes or you can say that will be the filler metals is being used so fusion take place and your welding is being carried out so basically for the leftward welding the direction of the weld which is 
R H S to the L H S. That means right hand side to left hand side. So just you can see the figure into the welding process. So direction that will be the important part for the any kind of welding methodology. Into the leftward welding process, the most important part that will be the angle of the blow pipe as well as for the filler rod. So which is having a more suitable for the melting of the molten metal as well as the filler rod and your welding it will be carried out. So for the leftward welding process just you can see for the blow pipe angle it will be 60 degree to 70 degree from a surface of the workpiece and for the filler rod angles that will be around a 30 degree to 40 degree from surface of the workpiece. So that will be the important part of the angles of the filler rod as well as the blow pipe. Now the positions of the weld. So basically with the help of lat leftward welding process the vertical joints are being welded and restricted to the welding 5 mm thick plates. So that will be all about the leftward welding techniques. Now we will discussing with the rightward. So just you can see the figure in that case that will be the filler rod, blow pipes, then weld metal and one important part that will be the progress of welding or you can say directions of the welding. So starting with the directions of the welding for the rightward techniques or you can say backward techniques or you can say backhand welding techniques. So in case of the rightward the direction of the weld that is LHS to the RHS that means left hand side to the right hand side. So just you can refer the figure. Now for the angle of the blow pipe and filler rod. So for the blow pipe angles that will be 40 degree to 50 degree from the surface of the workpiece. And for the filler rod angles that will be 40 degree to 50 degree from the surface of the workpiece. So more suitable for the rightward techniques that will be used for the horizontal and overhead joints are to be welded. So that will be the more preferable techniques of the welding. Generally used for the thicker materials it will be not possible for the leftward techniques. This rightward techniques which is faster by 20 to 25 percent compared to the leftward techniques. So you can also reducing the manufacturing time or you can say metal joining time. So which will be also increasing the profit. Then less acetylene 15 to 20 percent is needed compared to the leftward techniques. So if you are selecting a rightward techniques so that will be the low consumptions of the gases too. So that will be also help for increasing the profit levels and amount of distortions in work there will be the minimum. So as for the summary of the methods of the weldings the rightward techniques that will be more suitable than the leftward techniques. So if you like this then subscribe and share Modi mechanical engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.